2 Timothy 4, verse 5. And it reads, But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Kalalayim, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great Muslim who teach one Wu well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the whole prolet, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath listening, listen to learning, Shalom. Shabbat Shema from the pillars of Benjamin camp. Here with another lesson. And uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. The title of this lesson, Do the Work. Right? And now's not now not, now is not the time <laughs> for taking their hands off the plowman. Right? Gotta stay gotta stay locked in, focused. All hell's about to break loose. Right? The most high Yahweh Bashim El Shai is turning things up. Esau's coming down hard. Everybody's getting sick. Now is not the time to get shaky hands. 2 Timothy 4, verse 5, and it reads, But watch thou in all things, right? Be circumspect out here, man. Watch. Know what time we're in. Endure afflictions, right? Whatever it may be. A woman. Family members. Job. Right? Affirmities. Whatever it may be. Endure. Do the work of an evangelist. Right? Continue to work. Continue to push this word, man. No matter what. No matter how you're feeling. No matter how your body's feeling. No matter what affliction you're going through at home. At the job. The plantation. Whatever it may be. Do the work. Make full proof of thy ministry. Right? Full proof of thy ministry. Exalt the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Daily. Right? Let's get a scripture. <clears throat> it's a lot. Hebrews 3, verse 13. Exhort one another daily. Right? Now that time now is not the time to be getting soft. Hebrews 3 verse 13 and it reads but exhort one another daily right exhort meaning to build up one another who the elect Lord willing of that number the brotherhood the Akyam but exhort one another daily right and how do we how do we exhort one another through the through through this word man while it is called today Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin, right? There's a lot going on right now, man. Right? It's easy to get sifted out here right now. Through the deceitfulness of sin. So this word's got to be pushed. Right? The famine of the word's coming, eh? Amos, Amos, Amos 8 and 11. The famine of the word's coming. Right? Where no word's going to go out. Let's get that since we mentioned it. Amos 8 and 11. Yo, Esau about to lock off this internet. Amos 8 verse 11 and it reads, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Right, that those days are coming, man. Big tech gonna lock things off. Internet gonna get locked off. Social media gonna lock, gonna, gonna get locked off, right? The most high gonna withdraw his prophets from off the streets. That's when the door of repentance is closed. That's when Jake gonna wanna get right, but by then it's too late. Verse twelve, and they shall wander from sea to sea, right? These scoffers out here, two thirds of people who've been scoffing, the habitual scoff scoffers, the chronic scoffers. The low-key scoffers, 
the murmurs. Right? And from the north even to the east, <clears throat> they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh. Right? They're going to want to hear this word. Where are those prophets at? What were they saying? Where are they at? Can't find them. And shall not find it. Right? But then it's too late, man. But until then, we push this word. We do this work. Non-stop. Revelation 3, verse 15, it reads, I know thy works, red letter, our Lord said this, Yahweh Shai. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Right? The most I don't want you cold. Right? The most I knows your works. He knows you're neither cold nor hot. Right? I would thou work cold or hot. He wants you either, either cold or hot. There's no in between. Right? So we're supposed to be on fire for this thing, man. Continually pushing this word. Daily. So then because thou art lukewarm, right? Because you're in the middle. And neither cold nor hot. You're not cold nor hot. You're just in the middle. Right? Sitting on this word. Hiding the word in a napkin. Right? Not doing the work. Not doing the epistles. Not hitting the highways, the hedges. Not teaching, right? And neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth, right? The most I'm not dealing with that man. He wants you hot. He wants you on fire. He don't want you lukewarm. He wants you on fire. And he don't want you lazy either. Romans 12 verse 11. Not slothful in business, right? What business? Our father's business. This work. Do the work of an evangelist. This work. Not slothful in business, right? Not lazy. Fervent in spirit. Fire spirit. Serving the Lord, right? And how do we serve the Lord? By pushing this word. Right? In season, out of season. Whether we feel like it or not, gotta do it. Let's close out. <coughs> Salak. Second Timothy. Second Timothy two, verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness. Right? Endure hardness. What is a hardness, man? These afflictions, what's going on in this in, in, in this world, in this life, family problems, plantation problems, women problems, your youths them, family member, whatever it may be, endure that hardness, man. Health problems. As a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, right? We're soldiers for this thing. Verse 4, no, ma no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this of this life, right? No man that warreth, warreth, good, warreth how? In this truth, in this word, man. Right, if you're going hard for this thing, if you're, if, if you're locked in for this thing, you're not going to be worried, you're not going to be entangled in the affairs of this life, man. What are some of the affairs of this life? Woman problems, your, your, your seeds them, your youth them, right? Plantation problems. Right? Family problems, mom dukes, father, whatever it may be. Right? This truth is supposed to come first. First and foremost. Right? That being said, you know, don't be, it doesn't mean you just dash away your picnic them. You don't deal with your kids or whatever. Right? Or your woman or whatever. But this truth gotta come first, man. You know, if they if they if they start getting in the way of this word going out. The Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh is not dealing with that man. You gotta fix that, right? If you, if 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 your plantation gonna start getting in the way of this word coming up, doing this work, the Lord the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh is not dealing with that. You gotta fix that, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier, right? To 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 please 
Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And how, we, how do we please him? By doing this work. By doing this work. So now's not the time to get be getting feeble hands, man. Now's not the time to be getting soft in this thing, man. Esau's coming down having great wrath. Right? Things are about to lock down again. Mandates is about to get stiffer. Right? Famine of the words soon come. Right? This MOTB is on the horizon. Right? Now is not the time to be getting feeble in this thing. Demonization is coming. Right? Stay prayed up. Prayed out, Sisi. Kwame Ashurala. Wa abad. Baba.